Hello everybody, Color OK is here. And today we will be making a Telegram bot that will help us to learn music theory. The bot should help us to memorize modes and chords in different scales. It should be configurable, provide statistics, and of course run on mobile devices. This chatbot was built as a simple single instance Telegram bot intended for personal use only. Simplicity was chosen over performance for this project. If you want to build a high performance Telegram bot, here are some recommendations for you. So let's talk about features. This should be a Telegram bot running on Python version 3. The bot should be configurable to fit our needs. We should be able to add and remove specific chords and modes from the practice. Also, we should be able to adjust display settings for text and music notation. Practice, it is the main feature of the bot, of course. So we should be able to run practice for configured set of chords and modes we will be playing an audio question of a chord or mode and display a right answer as an image. We will use Telegram button widgets for easier control and of course validate user's input. Then we do some clean up to reduce amount of data stored in the chat. The last but not least is the ability to store settings and display statistics. For this bot, we will be using the Python Telegram bot library. It is written as a wrapper library around the Telegram API that simplifies the development process for you. This is an open source project that is available on GitHub and PyP repository. You can easily install it by running pip install python telegram bot. Few words on audio and images used by this bot. You can get more information how this data was created in my other video on YouTube, Jazz Piano Trainer application written in Python with MIDI controller support. So here goes the actual coding. First of all, we need to create a music theory knowledge base. We will define scales, chords, modes and their variations. For simplicity, it is all hard coded inside a Python file and can be easily accessed by other components of the bot. All user data that includes practice and display settings along with these statistics will be stored inside a JSON file. Of course, in real life you will be using a separate database storage, but for a single user bot that will be more than enough. Here we define a user data class that will hold all the information and make it available for other components. The practice module holds classes and data related to the bot's practice functionality. Based on a user's preference, we will randomly pick up a chord or a mode, build audio and image file IDs that will be used to request media from external data storage. To improve the download speed, it is better to use CDN for that. Here we see a kind of a state machine of the bot. By getting a user's input, we know where we are and what controls are available for the user. The user's input is parsed and forwarded to a proper handler. Then we execute a code associated with the requested functionality. By keeping the chat session information, we always know how to communicate with the user. The bot can be easily extended by adding a new state and a method handler for it. Feel free to clone the git repository and play around with the code. You can add any new functionality you want. If you do, please share it, I would love to see it. So that's all. I really hope you enjoyed the video and got something new for your future projects. If you want to see more projects like this one, please let me know by leaving your comments and questions down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. You can find a link to the GitHub repository for the project in the description below. Hope to see you soon.
a new project is on its way. Bye-bye.